Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dev's Kingdom. This is Jacob. In today's tutorial, we're going to introduce the Latin Sync from ByteDance. It's a very cool project. And what exactly is Latin Sync? So it is a stable diffusion for lip sync. So how it works is that uh, so you have a video like this one. And let's play it. Привет. Я снова рада вас видеть на своём канале, и мне безумно нравится то, что мы ведём этот прекрасный влог о моей жизни. Один And we have an audio and a customized audio. Let's play it. Are you a broke beauty like me that loves to gamble but doesn't have this money? Then you have to download Cash Bash. This slot game has a super high payout. And we want the lady in the video to speak using audio like this. So, if you want that, just click submit and you have a new video that's just like that one. Let's play it. Are you a broke beauty like me that loves to gamble but doesn't have this money? Then you have to download Cash Bash. This slot game has a super high payout. Very cool, isn't it? Super awesome. So, in this video, we're going to show you how to build that step by step. So, uh, let's go to kicker.com. And let's open a notebook called uh, By Dance Latin Sync. And first, we have to download the project. So if you actually follow the README, uh, there's a couple of issues. Uh, you probably will not be able to set it up. Um, so uh, we'll fix everything in the notebook. So please follow through. You should be able to get things that you see in here. Um, so let's continue. After you download uh, the GitHub repo, and then basically you have to install the FFMPEG. So, and then you have to install all these requirements from the GitHub repo and make sure you also install this uh, lib gl1. And uh, after that, you have to download the model. So basically, um, the Hugging Face CLI is already installed using this uh, requirements.txt and you just have to download the uh, Trinity Li Latin Sync. Download that uh, folder basically from the Hugging Face and that's it. So then, um, the first fix you have to uh, make is to fix the JAX version. So uh, I think there's an issue with that. So you have to uh, basically do a pip install JAX CUDA 12 and make sure the version is 0 for 23. And from this repo, uh, this is the first fix um, or it will error out. Then you have to basically make a directory uh, in the root cache folder and make sure you do a soft link for all these uh, model files or zip files to this cache folder. And then after that, um, you have to fix the Gradio app. Uh, so basically, the Gradio app that's actually inside this GitHub repo, um, the Gradio app uh, somehow doesn't work. So you have to go to the Hugging Face space. They do have an official space. Go to the files, and basically you copy this app.py. Copy everything and paste it in here. So basically to overwrite this Gradio app file. And to make sure you actually turn off the share. So they put probably it's all right, turn off. So, but make sure that's turned off. And that should be it. So after that, uh, we start to basically create this uh, public girl. So using ungrok. Uh, so first we'll create a function to run bash command within Python. And then we'll install pyngrok and ungrok. And also make sure that uh, you paste in the ungrok token from ungrok console. And after that, I uh, just make sure you uh, pointing the public VR, which is generated by Ungrok to a local host uh, 7860. So that's the great port. And the last thing you have to fix is to fix this uh, space ID. So make sure you're passing any string. So um, somehow they just have an issue with the space ID uh, in the code. So just pass it in any string. After that, uh, you should be good to go. Go to this Latin sync folder. Just run Python greater app.py. That's it. You can see everything is downloaded and running. And also you can see that it's spin up on port uh, 7860. Everything is good to go. After that, um, you can see this uh, URL, CEC6, is the one that we're testing. So this is how you set up Latin Sync uh, correctly. So that being said, uh, hopefully this is helpful. And last but not the least, so if you want to fine tune the uh, Latin Sync, so uh, you want to fine tune the model, just go to this, um, data processing pipeline section, and also there's a training unit, training sync that. So um, basically use those script to fine tune the model. And also if you want to run an evaluation on the model, just go through this section. 
that should be it. So this is um, how you set up everything for Latin Sync, how to fine tune it. So hopefully this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.